Hi, and welcome to the video, How to Read an ACT Label. An ACT Label is an eco-nutrition label for laboratory products that looks at the manufacturing, user impact, and end-of-life impact of products that are commonly found in the lab, including equipment, consumables, and chemicals. In order to understand how to read this label, we're going to take one category as an example. So we're going to look at responsible chemical management, which in essence asks the question, does the product contain any carcinogens, mutagens, or reproductive toxins? And then looks to see how the chemistry of the product is managed throughout the supply chain. You can see in this example, the product has received a score of 10. Well, what does that mean? On the ACT label, most of the categories are on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the lowest environmental impact and 10 being the highest. So in this particular case, the product has received a score of 10, which means that it likely does contain a carcinogen, mutagen, or reproductive toxin, and or the chemistry as it's managed throughout the supply chain isn't very well understood. This can be contrasted with the lifetime rating of this product, which is a score of 2, meaning a relatively low environmental impact. This likely means that this product is not a consumable, but is more like a durable good, and is meant to last a relatively long time. Now, I said that everything on this label is on a score of 1 to 10, or most everything on the label is on a score of 1 to 10. The two exceptions here are energy consumption and water consumption. These are reported as actual values in terms of kilowatt hours per day or gallons per day. And this was done in order to give you the opportunity to calculate the actual impact of a product a product's electricity consumption or, or water consumption. However, the same rule applies. The lower the number, the lower the environmental impact. We can add all of these numbers up to receive a total environmental impact factor score, shown here. What this means is that you can compare products now on the basis of any one of these categories, or you can compare them on the basis of the total environmental impact factor score. Again, remembering the lower the number, the lower the environmental impact, the higher the number, the higher the environmental impact. All labels have an expiration date or a label valid through date. This is meant to drive continuous improvement in the laboratory products industry. So we're hoping that this will encourage manufacturers to look back at their scores and to try to make improvements after two or three years. If you have any questions about why the scores are the way they are, you can feel free to click anywhere on the label and it will bring you to a page on our website that will provide you with more information about where the scores actually come from. So what we found when we did the audit and why the product received the score that it did. As many of you know, this label was developed by My Green Lab. We are a nonprofit organization whose mission is to help laboratories reduce their environmental impact. So we are always happy and open to hear feedback from the scientific community. Thank you very much.